Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Octopath Traveler. Last time, we started Ophelia's Chapter 2. And are now heading towards the Merc... We're in the Merc Ward Trail, so we're heading towards the Merc Ward. I would take it. I, I would believe that's what we're doing here. To go and find Emil, the brooch that Daryl's mom had before she died. And maybe... What was I saying? Crap. I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, finding Emil the brooch and maybe the dog that took it, I think, was what I was going to say. I don't remember anymore. Well, regardless, uh, Therian's back in the party for now. Because there's going to be a purple chest in this dungeon. You know there is. So he's here for that. Actually, Therian might be our first party member to reach 3,000 job points. <laughs> Which will be kind of impressive. And that was enough for Therian to get 3,000! <laughs> All right, this is exciting. Not because we're getting HP thief. Not only are we getting that last skill unlocked down there, but you see those question marks. After getting all of this stuff, we can now get that for five thousand. Costs thirty SP and it's a divine skill. Attack all foes with a dagger, dealing damage proportional to your speed. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds like a good move. Unfortunately, the thing with defined skills, as we will see much later in the series, because we're not getting to this for a long time, they take three BP to use. You need to have at least three BP to use them. And insult to injury, status, ailments, and attribute penalties inflicting inflicted by the equipping character will last for one additional turn. Specific stuff like a poison, shackle foe, that stuff will last longer now by one turn. Actually, don't put on evasive maneuvers. Just so we can get to the chest a little bit faster and then get a little bit faster. <laughs> no offense to you, mate, but uh, I want to get Cyrus back in the party so we can start nuking more stuff with magic. Let's save real quick just in case things go horribly wrong. Because knowing me, they will most likely go horribly wrong. And now we can fly into the Mirkwood. Okay, we need to find this purple chest ASAP. So we can go all the optional paths first. And hopefully, we'll find the purple chest quickly. Is the boss right over there already? Oh my god. That would be ridiculous if it was that quick. Uh, oh god, there's so much to explore. So many winding paths that all interconnect and intersect. Step right up. And this is why I really want Osiris. I like no, half the things here, I'm pretty sure are weak to fire. I'm like 90% sure almost everything here is weak to fire. Alright, um. Wildfire. Sure. <laughs> That. Now Alpha can break him. My turn. Uh, you can go ahead and smack him with your sword. And I believe the tree is also weak to axe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I can't do the thing. Let's see an amputation. Then. 1396. There's only one charge too. And again, Tress is like the highest level party member we have, but still, that's pretty good. That's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Alright. Out of my way. Smack him with a sword. Tree's almost dead already, thanks to Tressa. Here we go. Being insane. Being an axe-wielding maniac. Scorch the earth! Alright, um, go ahead and give all your SP and then some to actually Therian. Let us do our best. And then he can give even more on top of that to Alvin. What to do? Uh, I can't do the other one. Shoot. Okay. Um, crap. This is what happens. This is why I hate running out of SP. Just go ahead and smack him with an axe, I guess. 
my way. All right. Now you can go ahead and share your own SP with Alfin. Keep it up. Let's do this. Go ahead and I should give it to Tressa. Actually, she would have murdered these fools so I give it to Tressa. I'll do my best. But whatever. We're already here. I uh, keep the wildfire. Just steal some SP, I guess. Bring it to Firestorm, clear yeah. kills. Nope. What to do? You don't have to start a spec. There we go. <laughs> Almost dead. How is that? Alright. I don't think Alpha can get anything at a thousand, right? He needs three thousand both his stuff. Oops. Uh Yes, Ophelia needs a thousand or something. Okay. Is there a path on the side of this chest? No. Okay. I couldn't tell. Thankfully, we have evasive maneuvers on, so we can navigate here a bit easier. There's another chest up there. Uh, save point. Be careful not to actually walk into the boss fight. Regular chest here. Might as well grab it. This is right here. There it is, in the purple chest. All right. Four trees, I can be in the dungeon. Want a tango, huh? All right, so more than brand new enemies. Out of my way. I believe the owls are weak to lightning and the plants are weak to fire. Once again, Therian, not Therian, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Cyrus would have been wonderful here, but oh well. Let's go ahead and break with the plants then. Don't play. Therian can do that pretty easily. Uh, I think the other one should be weak to axe. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll do my best. Go ahead and steal some huh? SP. I need this power. Here goes Jim. And you can go ahead and actually use lightning blast to break the owls. There we go. I think these owls are like the weaker ones, weaker versions, the ones we fought in the Path of Beasts, or whatever it was called. I'm not, I'm not share it, let's steal more. Because you definitely need to get your SP back up. Go ahead and share your SP with Tressa, actually, real quick. Keep it up. And now Tressa can do big murder. Big, big murder. Look at that! Look at that damage from a single hit attack. And she's no even, nowhere near low health, mind you. Tressa is just murdering everything. <laughs> like Tressa does. Once again, though, she is our highest level party member, so it's not a surprise. Right. Purple chest, and then I can leave and come back here with Cyrus. Clarity, really? All this way for a freaking Clarity Stone? Alright, whatever. Frankly, you can just warp out of uh, dungeons, so I'll do that real quick. All right, I'm back in the Merkwood now. Look, missed a chest already, so I'm glad I came back here and started recording from here. Or teach speaking, whatever you want to call it. Uh, can I do this? I almost forgot that Cyrus actually in the cut there got enough job points to learn analyze. I know, right? The greatest move of all time. No, you don't care analyze. Vim and vigor. It's interesting for him. Uh, and this is his divine skill. For three turns, spells cast by a single chosen ally that usually target all foes will instead be focused on a single foe at increased intensity. So basically you're trading spread damage for increased damage per hit. That's, that's going to be pretty good in the future. Now we're going to eventually get to that. It also means Saurus now has Vim and Vigor. It's very strange for a mage to have HP regeneration as one of their skills, but you know what? That's why you teach these jobs to other people. That's also why Alfin is learning Scholar, because that's going to be very good with his big-ass HP. His big, fat HP total. Chest up there we want to get. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh, it's just up here. A doy. Also, just notice Ophelia has now enough to learn 
heal more. Which I guess is good. Honestly, using BP and heal wounds is honestly almost always enough, especially early on. You won't be needing to heal more for quite a while. Uh, but elemental defense? Why do that when we have the just the reflect, you know? So both of these are kind of like, eh. I feel like this would be more useful, though. Uh, overall, than reflecting veils. We'll go for that. Evil Ward. Uh, increase the party success rate when trying to flee. That could be really good if you try to traverse into those tricky areas that are high level. Try to get some really good items early on. Or potentially trying to get to those shrines before you're intended to. Which is something I did on my first playthrough, actually, this game. I just didn't look at the map at all and explored it for a while. Oh, not intentionally, by the way. I didn't intentionally <laughs> try going to those high-level areas. I was just, I wasn't paying attention to the little pop-ups that tell me what level the area was when I was running around exploring. How am I get to that chest? Guess who hit 3,000 now? Tressa did! Now, we have actually have a choice with her, though. We can get the 3,000 on Apothecary, Merchant, or any of her other jobs. Thief, Scholar. The thing is, what we want, though, what we absolutely want 105% is Merchant. Because his last skill here is actually one of the best skills in the game. Not hard help. SP Saver. Also, might as well look at this real quick. Unleash a non until attack on a single foe and receive money equivalent to the damage dealt. I believe it's still a magic attack, even though it's non-elemental. But it's not, not that great. But what is great, SP saver. Uh, we're not stealing anything with you. Or using uh, collect, at least not right now. But then again, though, we are coming up to a boss. And if the snatch, if collect works in the boss, they can get a lot of money out of that. Here it grows on trees for the SP saver then. And I still want you going fast. That's the thing. I still want you to be fast if I can. Yep, now all of our SP costs are cut in half. Which is going to be very useful. It's not the best on a merchant, obviously. It'd be bought better on your mages. But once again, that's why you teach other people jobs. So they can get the really good abilities for themselves. Alright, how do we get to that just now? Down here? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Psychic Staff. Uh, Cyrus. Oh, wow. It's much worse. Jesus Christ. I bought this, too. I'm pretty sure in Atlas Dam. So I'm surprised how long we've been keeping that for. Better than the Oak Staff, though. So, throw that on you. I guess Alpha does have the, the melee one just because. Uh, I could give him Oak Staff then. Just because he's actually using his magic attack. Might as well have him actually use no magic. Oh, shoot. We're actually here at the boss. And not save or heal. Where did that dog go? Alright, I've got my voice I gave him you. And how far in here am I? Hmm. I have to find that brooch. Hamil. Daryl? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I haven't found it yet. Please, just give me a little more time. Don't punch me in the face! You idiot! What are you talking about? We've got to get out of here. Now! But... But the dog. Are you serious? Forget about the stupid dog. But... But... I don't know why your voice acts bad. When you said that, perfectly fine on his own. <gasps> D did you hear that? Emil! Run for it, Emil! Is that the dog you've been chasing after? Damn! Stay back! Oh, so that child just swore, actually, too. <laughs> I didn't have to swear for him. That child literally just swore. Then again, damn is like one of the least offensive swears, but still. The point still stands. 
time for rest. Over here. Oh. Sister Ophelia. Oh, so did she say there's no time for rest or that? Thank heavens I arrived time in time. Now get behind me, both of you. All right. Actually, no, get behind Elfin. He's tanky. But I'm a mage right now. You're still tanky, Elfin. Don't worry. Everything's all right. You two are very brave. <sighs> now, if only we could be on our way. I know it says monster. So I think it's not actually supposed to be the dog he was chasing after. But oh my god. Can you imagine if this was the dog he was chasing after that stole the brooch? Also, how the hell do you read that name? <laughs> how do you read that name? Because, holy crap. I do wish Hana was here because, you know, it is a big monster, dude. A big monstery beast. But, unfortunately, she is not, so... You are weak to lightning, though, which is nice. You can start off with lightning blast. Alright, let's try... I haven't done this before. Does it tell me what they do? Act attack at all foes. Yeah, they do. Okay. Dancer. Okay. I mean, that costs actual money to use, though. Look at that. 30,000. Yeah. This is why I never use hired help. Because I never want to spend my money in battle. I want to get more money in battle. Yes, you can collect. All right. I'm glad I kept the um, snatch on them. All right. Uh, wow, she really looks like she's about to chop his freaking head off with that axe. <laughs> Go to one more magic. Let's try trade wins. No, okay. Hopefully it's light. That. Also, I never brought. I didn't bring a freaking helper, dude. There it is. Okay. Elfin can break him on the next turn on. if I defend. All right. Go ahead and use the uh, lightning blast. Alright, Tressa, you're actually not going to attack this turn. So you're going to donate one bit of BP to Cyrus. For you. He's our magic boy right now. And now we're going to go... Actually, you know what? We don't have a dancer on us. Is it time? No, that's all soul stones. Oh, where are they? No, not balls. Do I not have it? I don't have any nuts. I must have sold them all off. That could have we got some nuts along the way. I was gonna actually try to make use of the nuts for once, but no, I guess I can't. Fine. <laughs> Alright, 3,000 damage. Good job, Cyrus. I'll do my best. Oh, Ophelia. Go ahead and share your SP with Cyrus. He's eating up his SP very quickly. And now, with Tressa's reduced MP costs, this only costs four to use now. And did 45,000 damage, or 4,500 damage rather, not 45,000. That would be insane. <laughs> Tressa just one shots the boss right then and there. Gonna steal some SP. Uh, go ahead and fucking blast again. Actually, I should have probably used Blizzard to see if he's weak to that. But anyway, Elfin's right. turn. Go for a Firestorm and see if he's weak to fire. Nope. But here comes the gimmick of the boss. Oh, never mind. This is not this boss. This is a different boss that does that. <laughs> he just gets increased uh, guard, I guess. Oh, it's the invisible boss. Right? You're not weak to axe. You already know that. Uh, try stabbing him with a pole. All right, full arms. What next? Too bad Ulberic's not here. <laughs> Go ahead and let me blast. Ooh, uh, here we go. I'm actually gonna have Alpha heal. Ophelia. Wow, that did a lot best. more than did the fucking last chapter. Christ. Go ahead and the holy light. What is the 
logical course of action. Doing like nothing for Tressa. <laughs> Doing a lightning blast. Nothing Help Alfred blast. break him. Actually, no, I should wait till Uno to yeah, break him now. He's going to attack his turn. Um, You are going to head and shackle foe. Yeah, do this. Shackle foe. Okay, still healing actually? I can. 74? Let's try it. Pardon me. Healing Great Bunch. Okay. <laughs> He's him with her staff. My turn now. Good good job, Ophelia. Nothing great there. Okay. Uh how's Cluck coming along? 44. Right, what do you have here? Don't need to worry about any of that. Let's go ahead and donate some BP then. Uh, actually, no, let's not, let's not you do that for donate BP. I want to keep your BP high. But I will give it to Ophelia, though. For you. Could have gave the Alphen. Here we go. But it's whatever. Here, let's go ahead and something blast. <laughs> Broken now. now. Uh, doing amputation for damage. Not as good as last time, but still pretty good. Ah. Oh, control's gonna die in a second, isn't it? Alright, uh. Hmm. Save your SP. Uh, do I need one of these now? Or. Yeah, let's go restore her Try SP this. a bit. Only 50? Okay, that was not great. I'll do my best. Now I know, though. For next time. Do less P. All right, defense down from the dagger, or did I attack down? No, that's defense down. That is wonderful. Lightning blast. All right, now it takes nine to break him. Howls with rage. Bring it I on. think he's gonna do a big scary move if we don't kill him fast. Uh Lightning Blast. Let the thunder roll. And Cyrus for lightning blast. Now, what next? Nothing will quiet the storm. Okay, what are we gonna go. do with you? No way Tress can break him next turn or Ophelia. He's not with the staff. I haven't tried sword yet, but that's a risk because I don't know if he's with the sword or not. Actually, you know what? He is. Because sword goes right before polearm. So if both Tressa and Ophelia defend. Oh, that's only four hits though. <sighs> Crap. Alright, in that case, uh, you're going to sidestep because we're about to get hit by something. And it might hurt a lot. <laughs> My turn now. Um, go ahead and share your SP with Elfin. Let us do our best. We're gonna see what happens. Nice try. Awesome. Oh, that wasn't even that bad. <laughs> it was like nothing. We howled like that. I was worried he's gonna do like a big, powerful attack or something, but no. We actually haven't seen an enemy charge, like the bosses charge that in a while, though. I think about the crazy aura stuff. Uh, go ahead, Holy Light. Oh, I'll can break him easily. My turn now. Go ahead and donate some BP to Cyrus. For you. Here we go. All right, now you can go ahead and I'll upgrade. Him. I will not be defeated. Right. Get some of your SP back up. I need this power. Nice 69 SP. Let's Way to go, go, Ophelia. Oh, you don't have enough for. Uh, well, it's still better than nothing. Uh, amputation. Now both stars and Alf can go crazy with their lightning blasts. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll even kill it. Let's try it. Let me use Blizzard. Let's just try it. Oh, we need to use the Blizzard too. 
Yeah, he just saw a thousand less damage than Cyrus. Okay, yeah, now we're starting to hurt a bit more. <laughs> just a bit more. Uh, go ahead and stab him with your spear. Bring so. it on. Just to get him hurt a bit more. Uh, scholar, lightning blast. Let the thunder roll. You are gonna share your SP with best. Alfin because he's running low. Let us do our best. Cyrus is gonna lightning blast as well. Oh, that killed it. Oh, I didn't get this collect. Oh, oh well. Not bad. I didn't expect him to die so easily like that. Whatever. We got a second healing great bunch. It's whatever. We got something out of it, I guess. Oh. You you saved our lives. You kick its butt! <laughs> okay, now everything's alright. Good riddance to scary monsters. Oh. Only if Hana could have been here. You, you said it. Come on. Come on, Emil, let's go back home. But. Hang on. If you'll just give me a little bit more time. You idiot! One more time! What? More time to get killed? You think that was the only monster in here? Oh. But I... Ah! <laughs> See? I knew I'd find it. Emil. Emil, you... Such a relief. Nice going, Emil. Thanks. Now then. I knew you had it in you. Now, let's get out of here. Neil, I think that Daryl has something he wants to say. Huh? He does. Does it involve punching me in the face? <laughs> Daryl? Hmm. Uh, Neil, I, I shouldn't have said any of those things I said. Also, I'm sorry for punching you in the face 57 times since my mother died. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so mean to you. Daryl? Was there really that many times? <sighs> oh, crap. Don't worry, I'm gonna ruin this sentimental scene one way or the other. Either with my, uh, not-so-funny dialogue commentary, or by my controller dying. When my mom died, it seemed so unfair. I- I think I was trying to make you hurt, too. I'm sorry. Emil, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh! It's okay. I knew you were sad and I couldn't do anything to make you feel better either. Exactly. No one else can hurt you quite like a friend can. But you understand each other now. And that's what counts. So now you can hurt each other even better than before. Now play nice, you hear? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Emil. Nah. It's alright. Besides, you saved my life. No, I didn't. Oh, you're right. You didn't. <laughs> if you hadn't jumped in the way, that beast would have eaten me alive. <laughs> All right, boys, save it until we're back in town. Come along. All right, now they get throwing in the party for the freaking 
Banner. Okay, thank God it's right here. <laughs> I didn't want to actually trigger it by going north. And also Obruk. Yeah, I'll do it right here in the tavern, why not? You're very quiet there again. Hmm. Are you thinking how heartwarming it is to see quarreling friends make good again? Not exactly. They just reminded me of something. And what might that be? My childhood. It wasn't a particularly happy one. Though. Wait, what? Oh. Is there. Hold on. Let me just restart this. My childhood. It wasn't particularly a happy one, though. So you're probably better off not hearing out the details. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. No need to apologize. It was a long time ago. It's nothing but a memory now. And I know I'm not the only one around with such a uplifting past. I admit your attitude. Oh, I admire your attitude, Therian. It's very brave. And edgy. I like edgy. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, Lee. There's nothing to write home about. Uh, where is it? There it is. Down here. Real quick, because I have Therian. Steal. Steal his stuff. Good job. <laughs> See, Ophelia? That's how you steal things from people. Returned, Your Excellency. Welcome back, Sister Ophelia. And how did you find our humble town? It is a fine place, Your Excellency, with fine children who will surely lead it to a bright future. <laughs> children, you say? Yes. I am not sure of what you speak, but it seems you had a pleasant encounter in Saintsbridge today. Your smile beams as bright as the flame. Mighty Elfric brought fire down from the heavens and carried it to every corner of the realm. Every 20 years, one of our faithful sets off on the kindling, following in his footsteps. It is said that the ember born during the rite reflects the heart of the flame bearer who carries it. The heart of the flame bearer? Twenty years ago, when the Archbishop brought us his ember, I recall that his flame burned bright and strong Full of vigor and passion. The fire that you have brought us, Sister Ophelia, to my eyes, it looks to be a warm and gentle flame. I know not which children you met, but I have no doubt your kindness was a comfort to them as well. You are far too kind, Your Excellency. I only hope that I have helped in some small way. Hey, Emil, did you find that brooch? I sure did. We found it in the woods. The woods? You actually went in? But there are all kinds of nasty beasts in there. You bet there were. But that sister from the church kicked the living snot out of them. It was freaking outrageous, wasn't it, Emil? <laughs> it sure was. Uh, not to be that guy, but uh, Ophelia didn't do much, actually. Most of the damage was dealt by Tresser being an axe-wielding maniac, Alfin throwing out ice and thunder magic, and Cyrus just electrocuting the damn thing to death. So actually, uh, Ophelia didn't do much. She smacked it a couple times with a knife, but other than that... Living snot, huh? 
sister. It's true, though, isn't it? Oh, I wish I could have seen it too. I just told you it wasn't true. The beast? No, sister here beating it into a bloody pulp. Now, just a second. Anyway, Sister Ophelia's friggin' outrageous, isn't she, Emil? She really is. Oh, why do you two get to have all the fun? You better tell me all about it. <laughs> I do believe my work here is done. And with that, I should journey on to Goldshore. Sister Ophelia leaves Saints Bridge behind her journey far from over. Oh, there was a pause. Okay. Between behind and her. I didn't see the comma there. Whatever. With one last prayer to the sacred flame of this land, that it might bring happiness to the children living here, she embarks for Goldshore, a town in the coastlands. There, the second church awaits her on her journey. Children can take you by surprise. We often forget what they can, what they are capable of. Sounds like you were speaking from personal experience. There's a young lad back in my village. I was teaching him the sword. Oh yeah, I feel like I actually wasn't there for that, was she? Are you worried for him? Nay. It would be a lie to say I do not think of him from time to time, but I do not worry. I taught him well. I could uh, I taught him I taught him what I could of the sword and other thi other things besides. He took the lessons well. I have faith in the lad. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. How so? Well, it's a belief of mine. That every child should have a mentor to take them in hand or oh, take them in hand and show them what is right and wrong. And I concur. Next time, we'll be leaving town of... Uh, not Goldshore. <laughs> well, actually, real quick, before we leave, I'm gonna get the hidden item we got by interrogating the dude. <laughs> but next time, we'll be leaving the town of Goldshore and heading off to... Not Victor's Hollow. Not, it's not, is this Stoneguard? I think it's Stoneguard, right? Yeah, Stoneguard. We'll haunt it and technically... Uh, Cyrus is chapter 3 is going to be. But we're not doing his chapter 3. It's level 40. As I overpower Trisha maybe she's not level 40. <laughs> so that's a no-go. But yeah, now we have, actually have Ophelia, Therian, Cyrus, Alfred, and Trissa all together now. The only people we haven't... Ha are, we don't right now have one. That's our Hanit. Because she's over there in Stoneguard right now. And Primrose and Ulbrich who are in Victor's Hollow on also on their way to Still Snow. It's kind of funny though. You would think Ophelia would have some urgency in her quest, but she really had none. This almost felt a little bit like a filler episode, you know? But it's a good it's a good time to show a character how much she actually cares for children despite my many jokes of her hating children. <laughs> Especially, also, I want to say the same thing for Tresses, too. But that was, like, more humorous and enjoyable, so I didn't really care that much. That felt like that. Anyway, I'm going on too long here. The episode's going to be way too long if I keep this up. Hope you all had a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.